A new study says prostate cancer impacts African-American men at a rate about five times greater than other demographics. One man who lived through it and is now cancer-free is doing everything he can to help others. Fox 4's Sean Rabb has more in this week's Here and Now. Having a conversation with Bishop Edward Wright, Sr., uh, we can win. Prostate cancer is the name of your nonprofit. Let's start there. What is that, sir? We Can Win is an organization that I started two years ago as a prostate cancer survivor uh, in talking with a lot of medical professionals over at uh, the Harold Simmons Comprehensive Cancer Center and the UT Southwestern Radiation Oncology Center. Uh, we started to find out that there was a lot of disinformation or misinformation that was being disseminated to the African-American male communities. Prostate cancer is killing us uh, at five times the rate uh, as any other race. I heard you say prostate cancer survivor. Tell me about your diagnosis. I was living in California then. This was back in 2012 when I got the initial diagnosis. Um, my doctor called me in because he saw a spike in my PSA, which determines whether or not the prostate is acting the way it should act. Uh, ended up having a biopsy and... Uh, found out that I had a small trace of prostate cancer. So we went through a series of treatment um, uh, from 2012 to 2017. I had six biopsies. Uh, nobody should have that many biopsies at all. Um, but in 2018, I had a procedure done at UT Southwestern. At that time, it was a clinical trial, but it had a 99% success rate. And so uh, December uh, 8th, 18, 2018, had the procedure, and here I am today, man. I'm 68 years old, and my PSA uh, in 2018 was at 10.0, and since the procedure three months ago, my PSA was 0 0.24, so the procedure is actually working. That's wonderful news to know that it worked for you out of this clinical trial, and now it's something that's in the toolbox as we go forward. Uh, you're having an event May 20th. Tell us about it. Yes, sir. This is our second annual symposium. It's called We Can Win, uh, Real Talk About Prostate and Breast Cancer. We've also incorporated uh, breast cancer because we found out that African-American women were not going to get mammograms on a yearly basis. On May 20th, um, 2023, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., we'll have our second annual symposium. It's going to be at Church of the Disciple uh, at 220 South Cocker Hill Road in DeSoto, we have uh, a nurse practitioner that has a resume as, as big as Dallas, uh, who happens to be my nurse practitioner. And also we have two excellent doctors. One's gonna talk about some of the therapies that are being used now, some of the treatments um, in prostate cancer and the brachy ther uh, therapy. Uh, and the other is gonna talk about breast cancer. In order to register, you can just go to our website at www wecanwinpc.org. That's www.wecanwinpc.org slash events. But if you don't get a chance to register because registration closed on Friday, um, just stop by anyway. Bishop Edward Wright Sr., We Can Win Prostate Cancer. Uh, thank you for your testimony and thank you for putting this symposium together that other people may get knowledge that might change the outcome of their very lives. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me, Ms. Rapp. All right, thank you both. Again, the event is Saturday. The website is wecanwinpc.org. It's there on your screen. A lot of resources available giving clear information that can help and support you on your health journey.